All right, so one of our security guards here at ABC told me about this author that he knows that's out with a new book. And I explained, well, we get thousands of book pitches for TV all the time and that I couldn't guarantee anything. But then I met the author. Take a look at this. This is seven-year-old Dakari Holland at his book signing. Yes, I said seven years old. And it just gets better. Dakari isn't just out with this new release. He has actually written five books, from understanding government, to historic statues, to counting money, to practice makes perfect. Matter of fact, Dakari says, quote, I write these books to show kids my age all over the world that they don't have to wait until they're 18 to take their life seriously. Future Pulitzer Prize winning author Dakari Holland joins me today here on set. Hi. Hi. You're not nervous, are you? No. <laughs> what do you think of all the lights in the studio? They look cool. You better get ready because you're going to be having a lot of this as you move forward in writing all your books. Yes. So I have a question for you. A lot of kids your age, they're into video games, hitting the playground. Why do you write books? I wrote books because my parents at age six, they taught me the importance of reading and writing so it inspired me to write books. So your parents were your inspiration. Yes. And do you have a favorite book? Yes. Okay, because I have all of them right here, okay? Every single one, by the way. I want everybody to see your books. Which one is your favorite? Practice Makes Perfect. Practice Makes Perfect. Okay, and that's his newest one that he just came out. Tell me why Practice Makes Perfect is your favorite book. Practice Makes Perfect is my favorite book because I like the lesson I teach. You can be good at anything if you practice. So do you have any advice for me and for my team on how we could become more perfect? You could, be, you, could, you could become more perfect if you study and practice and work as a team. Okay, so we need to work as a team. Um, do you think we need to work on our writing? What did you think of the intro into you? Did that sound pretty good? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you also decided on your own to send a bunch of your books to Africa. Why Africa? Because I wanted to help the teacher Mr. Mr. Mawia, and and he said he kept saying he needed materials, so I gave him materials for reading, and then he um, taught his kids the importance of reading. So you you had a teacher tell you that the kids over there needed help learning how to read and practice how to read, so you thought you'd send a bunch of books. Yes. Unbelievable. And so, are you working on another book? Yes. What, what's the name of that book? Oh, I don't know the name. I don't know the name because I'm only able to write books when I'm inspired by something. Oh, I see. Have you been inspired by anything yet for your next book? No. What, what about this experience? You want to write about um, maybe journalism, how to be a good writer? Because you're a great writer. Yes. You feel inspired? Yes. <laughs> well, let me tell you what. We have been inspired by you. And I understand today's your birthday. Yes. Yes? And your mom says your favorite flavor cake is strawberry? Yes. So what exactly are you going to do for your birthday today? Well, we're having a game truck party and we're having a gaming party. Oh, my, a gaming party? Yes. Holy cow. Are you going to pass out your books? Yes. OK, we have a surprise for you. Okay. Michelle has a little something for you. We're going to sing happy birthday. All right, crew, are you ready? Everyone's got to join in. Happy birthday. Forget it, miss you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dakari. Happy birthday to you. Now, you have to make a wish, but don't tell us the wish, because if you tell us, it won't come true. So make a wish and blow it out. All right. <laughs> I can hear everybody clapping in the control room. Wait, they have a question for you. What's your question to Dakari, Ashley? That's right, your publishing company, Breezeway, right? Yes. So you're not only publishing your own books in this company that you created, but you're also lifting up other young authors. And we wanted to show folks your publishing company that you put together. Why are you putting other young authors on here as well? I'm putting other young authors on here so together we could showcase that they could take their life series now and do not wait until they're 18. So why now? Why, why do you think it's important now? Because so when they grow up, they will be successful in life. I got you. Be successful sooner, right? Yes. I'm very proud of you, Dakari. Thanks for being with us.
do me a favor. See that prompter up there? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna say my name and I'm gonna say goodbye and I'm gonna let you take it from there. You ready? Yes. All right, look up at that camera. I'm Kira Phillips. And I'm the Kyle Holland. Thanks for joining us. Remember, ABC News Live is here for you all day with the latest news, context, and analysis. 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 That's a tough word. And remember, ABC News Live is also available on all your streaming devices, plus the ABC News app and on abcnews.com. And hey, don't forget, practice makes perfect. <laughs> We're going to have more news on the other side. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.